Well, if you have been following my YouTube channel, Fish Tank King, for a while, you have, the last video I did was basically I have an algae bloom. It's, I still have an algae bloom, okay? And I got bad news. My beta has fin rot. So I'm going to try to attempt to cure him. So right now Petco is closing, so I'm going to have to go tomorrow to get fin rot medicine. He's eating, which is good. And as far as the fish tank, it still looks like it has a green blurry algae bloom. So if I can't correct this, because right now I only turn the lights to feed by normally on the timer. The lights are on for about two to three hours a day. And the rest is blackout time. So, a lot of my plants died, so I'm going to have to buy medicine for Finrod. Hopefully, it's good. I'm going to have to buy plants. And I'm going to have to buy... Uh, what's the third thing? Oh, I may have to buy green machine. Green killing machine. Because looks like there's no way I can get this water to be stopped being from blurry. So guys, I ended up buying Melafix from Petco. So enhanced from tea tree. So that's really good because that's like uh, tannins that help protect the fish. So one to use when adding new fish and to treat open wounds like tail rot and fin rot, whatever. And it says add one teaspoon, five millimeters for every 10 US gallons daily. And after seven days, make up 25% water per, uh, change and continue treatment if necessary. So, my poor beta has fin rot. I had, the lights are off because um, I'm doing a blackout kind of thing. My low light plants are doing okay, but hopefully I can get the blurriness out of the water. But besides the way, let's go ahead and dose this right here. Good thing about it is, is that it is, tr it is, it has a lid that you could dose it. So if right here is five millimeters, this is 10 millimeters. Since this is a 14 gallon tank, I have to use about half between or just do 10 millimeters now if you have activated carbon you should remove the carbon but i don't have activated carbon i have a sponge filter so just pour it over the sponge filter to let it filter out through the water i'm gonna be doing this daily now hopefully my beta gets better and survives this and as far guys as far as the um the blurriness of the water goes i'm gonna have to buy a green killing machine they have a smaller one that you can buy on Amazon for about uh, forty dollars. So if the if the cloudy water doesn't go away on its own, I'm gonna have to buy a green killer machine, UV sterilizer to get rid of all the water, and then hopefully I can go buy more plants and uh, maybe some cherry shrimp. So it has been about six days so far, and the beta has gotten better. If I can find him in this cloudy water. He's swimming around more active and hopefully his fin's gonna start growing back. I'm still dozing the tank. I got about one or two more days of dozing and then I have to do a water change. But it looks like he's getting better. I just gotta see his fin start to grow back. And the water's still cloudy, so I got a mini green killing machine. We'll see how well this works in the small tank. Now, I broke a cardinal rule. I'm still going to doze the tank one more time uh, uh, from fin rot, even though the beta is doing better. Just one more day, and then I'm going to see how the beta acts, because this, this should be a seven-day treatment. Got the UV sterilizer installed, a mini green killing machine. We'll see how that works. It's up to 20 gallons, and hopefully, and I mean hopefully, it does a good job. And by the time I come back from my little vacation, hopefully, the tank is going to be cleared up from any and i mean any uh algae bloom so gonna come back after a couple days the beta looks more healthy than i've ever seen him in a while i think the medicine is working that i've been giving him and fish are getting more active the flow isn't too much it just I'm hoping this is the solution to getting a clear, and I mean a clear fish tank. That's what I'm hoping for. Just came back from my mini vacation, weekend vacation. The beta seems to be recovering, swimming a lot more healthier. And I don't see the fin rot and him continuing. My, I'm going to pause treatments for a little bit. 
see if his fins start growing. If not, I'm going to have to continue treatment. But as far as the tank goes, it got clearer, in my opinion. It got clearer and a lot better from the UV sterilizer. You just got to have the UV sterilizer work a little more. And I think it'll clear up the tank in a couple of days. So I finally got the water clear. The UV sterilizer actually works. And the beta seems to be swimming well and recovering from his fin rot. We'll just have to take one day at a time. But it looks like whatever it, it had, I stopped it. Now I just got to watch the fins grow back. But also, some bad news. My coolie loaches, some of them have jumped out and died. So I only have like one coolie loach somewhere hiding in the mix and i got a pleco there he is right there so yeah this tank has gone through a lot and the next thing i gotta do is buy plants and more fish so because of the uv sterilizer making all that flow i'm constantly wondering if i'm gonna be able to grow my top water plants so we'll have to see yet but the beta is definitely doing better got to buy more plants and more fish and possibly some shrimp i was thinking since the baby may eat the little shrimp i may just buy some ghost shrimp which are cheaper or some bamboo shrimp that the beta cannot absolutely eat and we'll just see how it goes i know that i should have listened to you guys about buying a uv sterilizer for this tank